It's August the 22nd and the reason I'm telling you that is because next month we're actually going to be making some changes to the post bulk upload function to include some of the scheduling features we already have in our auto content campaigns. So currently when you go to the post bulk upload page you choose which network you're posting to and all the networks you're joined to will be on this list and then you select a zip file which contains your text files and your articles. This is an example of one of the articles I'm going to be uploading in this video. Uh, I'm showing it to you because I'm using Notepad++ which is the best program to use if you're on Windows for editing plain text files. Um, the reason I use this is because MS Notepad, this one that you'll recognize, this actually changes the formatting of your articles when you save. Um, I've made another video about that but just to remind you it's best to use a real text editor rather than uh, this one which is not actually a, a true text editor. So when you're placing your hyperlinks make sure that you're using the correct quotation marks. Uh, sometimes you get people using variations of quotation marks which may look very similar but actually have different ASCII codes and that can actually mess up your links when you upload your posts and obviously make sure you have the HTTP in your link otherwise it will be broken when it's published. So when you have your articles ready, edited with the hyperlinks inside, you have to make a zip file out of them. So you select all the files that you wish to use and then right click and then depending what software you've got installed, you might have 7-zip, which I think is the best free compression software, or you could have the uh, Windows version which is send to and then compressed zip, which also works just fine. So I'm going to call this testing and then I'm going to choose my file open that so I've selected my zip file the rules for the current network selected are also here so this will change depending on what network you've selected you can also download an example zip file if you're not sure about how to specify the titles inside your text files the title by default will be the first line of the article so make sure that you have a title at the top and not a paragraph otherwise you're going to have a very long title for your post when you've done that you can click submit what FBN does is it goes through each and every text file inside the zip file and it will analyze and check everyone individually so if you've got some of your posts breaking some of the rules or failing checks then not all of your posts will fail uh, only the specific ones that have failed the checks will not upload successfully. All five of these have been successful and you will now be able to see these on the My Post page. Okay, and you can see that these are the five articles I've uploaded to that network and they're now waiting for moderation. And finally, there is a limit, a size limit to the zip file you can upload. It's currently at 50k and if you can see here this is 9k. So generally it's about 20 articles at least that you can upload at a time. Uh, the reason we've limited the size of the zip file you can upload is because some of the networks require a link isolation. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it just yet. But what it does mean is that there's some extensive processes running which takes up a lot of, of uh, server resources. So we have to limit the zip file size in case someone wants to upload a thousand articles and that could really bog the server down if it's on a link isolation network. Okay, so try and keep it to about 20 articles and of course when you have your zip file you can always check what the size is, make sure it's under 50 KB and you'll be fine. And as I said before, this whole system is changing in version 3.3 in September 2013. What you see in front of you here is version 3.2.